Okay, we have a new feature called Tags. Now when new features come out, you might want to make sure you log out, which you can do here, and then log back in, okay? Very important. You don't need to do that on every update, but it's always a good idea. And then once you're there, it's probably not a bad idea to refresh the screen again also, okay? So anyway, let's show you what these tags do, all right? If you go up here, you'll see this button, Tags. And I've already created one. And I'll give you kind of an example of what they're used for. So I have my labels, right? Let's go here. One of my labels is Genius Messenger CRM Partners. That's the, that's the partners, the reseller partners for this software. Some of them, uh, most of them, uh, pay me monthly for their licenses, and then they can go sell monthly licenses. A few of them are annual. They pay me annual. I give them a little discount. And they're also then allowed to sell annual licenses. And I have a select few people who are lifetime partners. And those people are allowed to sell lifetime licenses, and they have some other advantages as well. But they're all in the same group, GM CRM partners. So let's say I want to separate them out a little bit. I want to tag some of those partners lifetime, and maybe I want to tag some of them annual. So you create a tag just like a label. Okay, you can change the name there if you want. You can change the color. Let's go with a just a little lighter purple. Let's make it a little more purpley than that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we have those. Now, there, uh, there is one person in there because I actually tagged her already, I think. So, yeah, here we go. See, she has a lifetime tag. I can get rid of that tag, and I can add one there. Let's say she's lifetime, and let's say I hit annual accidentally. So you can have multiple tags, see, and they'll just line up here, and you can see what they are, and you can delete them if you don't need them. So let's say I want to search my Genius Messenger CRM partners. I only need the beginning of that, and I can hit enter, and there they are. Anybody with GM CRM, oh, you know what? I think I hit, do GM CRM partners. There we go. I didn't do the P. Now it's just bold partners, okay? So, <clears throat> and then if I want to do by tags, I hit more filter, and let's go by tags, and hit tags. Which tags do I want to do? Well, let's just check the lifetime tags. Oh, I only have one. Now it's going to keep loading these because it's looking for more of them. And there aren't any. It'll eventually figure that out. But right now it's still looking. So you can now search by your labels. And then you can search also by tags. And you can do multiple tags if I want to see my annual and lifetimes and things like that. And remember, you can also now see unlabeled people who don't have any labels. You can see what were the last messages sent by you. Let's get rid of that. Last messages sent by you that are unlabeled. If you go here, I can see last messages that were sent by me within CRM Partners. And these are just ones that were sent by me, which means maybe I'm waiting for an answer from somebody. I can go in there and check and see if, if they uh, have responded yet or not. So that's it. That's a new feature. That's tags. You know that we can still... Oh, I, I just talked about that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so that's it. Um, and then over here, you'll see if I go to tags now... Uh, I can click lifetime. Whoops. Um, well, Margaret should be in there. Okay. Well, that might be a that might be a minor little uh, glitch we'll have to fix. But we just came out with this. I, it, this just literally updated 30 seconds ago <laughs> before I started the video. So no problem. Okay. Thanks a lot, and uh, let us know if you find any other little glitches like this, and please report them, and we'll get them fixed right away. Thanks.